we're over in North Wales today with JSN Electrical working on a recycling centre. They've got a ground mount system over in one of the fields and the farmer or whoever looks after the grounds has cut through all the DC cables. So we're going to see if we can get everything back up and running. Here we are, here's the ground mount. Let's see if we can find the fault. <coughs> there we go, so it's been just shredded off, isn't it? You'd have thought this would have been in some sort of protection though, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think we'll bring them along further and then straight into this. Get it straight into that duct in. I brought some um, channel as well, so we'll knock it in. And then put some capping on the back, take yeah. them down in it. Good day for generation though, isn't it? It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah. So we've just found another little fault. There's a plug here, MC4 plug. Still got the metal contact inside. I think there is the string live just been pulled out so that looks like it's been ripped out so these are trina solar's 295 watt panels it's a string system so there's no optimizers on this so there is no dc protection it's not like the solar edge where it's switched down to one volt per panel so this is the plant room what have we got here james 20 kilowatts and 10 kilowatts 220 and a 10. so 220 kilowatts and a 10 kilowatt. Uh, SMA Sunny Boys. So these were quite good back in the day, weren't they? German engineered, um, quite good inverters. DC's come up in that duct in there. Obviously they've got the integral DC isolators in the form of a switch. And in this one, it's got the, the pull out DC isolator. So one of the things we've got to identify with this is how many strings per inverter are going on check out the voltages to make sure we're not oversizing the inverters because unfortunately we didn't design this so we're sort of picking up a design halfway through for me i'd always use solar edge and that just proves why you know that would have restricted the voltage down to one volt per panel made it safe to touch made it safe to work on whether or not we're going to run full strings in the whole length or whether or not we're going to do some sort of weatherproof joints but that's another high resistance joint which could fail in the future so um, yeah let's come up with a plan and get back to it what I think we need to do first of all is bell back to the inverter and see what's not connected there might be one inverter with all the strings working right in there I think once we've got these labeled up and identified we can then start on the strings Harry do you want to have a look in that tub over there there's some DC cable see if it's long enough to get back to that shed Put one, one inside the shed, one inside here. We'll use that as our sort of bell in. Do you want to go and undo all them in there and check voltage? Label up which ones have got the voltage. They're all from. That's a from. There's no return leg on that. They're all from. That's a full one. That's a from. So we've got five and a half strings not working. So we have got a bit of a plan. We're going to pair up our strings to see what is a pair positive and neg. And then we're gonna bell out the supply cables from the inverter to find our pairs. I'll probably look at jointing them, I think, um, just so we're not changing the design too much. Obviously this isn't like Solar Edge where you can work on both ends. So we've got to work on one end at a time and remember it's constantly live. <laughs> Harry. Harry! Apprentices. Harry! So what we can't do with this is touch both ends at once. If you hold that one, just keep her on, yeah. And then we'll go through one at a time. There, so I think it's that one. So we've got our first pair. 680 volts on that. Let's just keep working through. So I think we've managed to find all of the strings um, and the voltage bar one pair. We're now going to go back to the plant room, see which strings are live and which strings aren't. Bell out the ones that aren't live. As long as we get power back to the plant room, we can go from there. This is literally him all day long. Just on his phone, just on his phone, just chatting away. 
I swear none of it's work calls. Right, it's a little bit of progress. Um, we weren't able to find the pairs on the strings. There's some damaged plugs down the line. Um, so it just wasn't giving us the voltage reading across positive and negative. So what we've done is we've unclipped them all, pulled the cables out back to the origin. The cables that we've pulled back, the positive and negative, we can 100% confirm that that's a string. Some of them have got damaged MC4, so we've had to replace those. Um, but it means we can work on each individual set of panels, set of strings, and confidently know that that's a pair. Get it back to the container, check voltage, link it up with the starting cables, um, and get the inverters back on. That's the plan. We can see James is there just finding a pair and following that back. But if we look, like there is a damage there, so we need to plug that. The plug's been undone. That's one set of strings. And then Harry is somewhere down there in the overgrowth. But in a nutshell, what we're doing is pulling the strings back. So like those two, we can clearly see they go off to a set of pair. So if we chase that whole cable all the way back, we know that that's a pair and we'll cable tie it up. There's no shortcut, constantly sort of on edge because you know you're dealing with sort of five, 600 volts of string, as it's an old system as well. Um, there is some earth leakage, so there is 50 volts to worth on some of it, so you, sometimes you are getting a bit of a tingle. You're gonna be fixing all the ground mounts in the country now. Again, I know a harp on about solar edge. All that growth there, that's gonna be affecting a whole bank of panels, not just the ones that the, the vegetation's on. It's gonna be affecting all of those in that series. Solar edge would help to mitigate that. I think if you're gonna to go to a system, especially one on this size, it's probably worth going for optimizers. You're gonna improve your generation, your safety, and um, it's gonna help with things like that. There's actually a bog here. Harry. Are you inside that bog? Have you seen it here? Full on like stagnant stream there, mate. Watch it don't fall in. Let's get back to work. We'll catch back up um, once we've got voltage. And we're getting from the array to the cabin. So you join us near the end. Um, we've got all the strings renewed, jointed. We've fixed some MC4s that were damaged. We're just firing up the inverters now. We've got two of them working, but on this one, I think we've got an earth fault. 367 volts positive to earth, 148 volts negative to earth. That one's clicking in, this one's clicking in. Yours looks like it's starting up. One of the beauties of SMA is it's German. So everything on the screen is German when you get a fault code. We are starting to lose a little bit of light though. Come on, it knows it wants to. Yeah. At least we've got voltage now. We didn't have that this morning. So there we are generating 100 watts. Don't use it all at once. That one's generating. What are you on there? 48 watts. We're about to go off now anyway, aren't we? So let's get the covers on. So we're getting there slowly. Nearly done now. Just got to get the covers back on. The inverters, um, yeah, just this last one to do. We're winning. That's us done, isn't it? Happy? Yeah. And we left them a little plan on the door as well. <laughs> Happy days. That's us all done. The whole array is working. A couple of faults found that we weren't expecting with the plugs and things like that but all sorted so the recycling center can be a little bit greener again ground mount not working it is now <laughs>